Hi, I'm Judy Jeffries, inviting you to join me right here on Only Ohio, where we go behind the scenes and visit some interesting places and talk person to person with some of the people responsible for a remarkable state of Ohio. Well, this is some of our food we're serving today. It looks great. It's yes. a chicken dish. You've got some new dishes, too. I saw you have yeah, some wild changed, barbecue. They changed it about every three months, yes. And you're starting in with salads and, and oh, uh, carry home. Yeah, our salads are great, too. <laughs> yeah, your salads look great. Let's yeah. walk over and sit down and see All right. some of your customers. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this restaurant? This was your first steakhouse. Um, did it end right here? Do you remember which part was the old restaurant? Well, we just there was no place to eat in this little town. We just had a place here. We just had sandwiches and coffee. Uh -huh. So we wouldn't have to drive 12 miles to get something to eat. We lived here for 17 years, raised our family. We have six children. Tell us about, you, you said your new charity, the thing that you're really trying to get involved in right now, is helping the Appalachian kids? Yes. You know, hi, yes, I work with that, but the kids trying to get these, these Appalachian kids whose mother and father didn't finish high school, many of them didn't, and never thought about college. Well, we're talking to a family that just came out of Bob Evans, and I just found out they're not even from Ohio, they're from West Virginia, right? Yes, uh -huh. Princeton, West Virginia. And, and what's your name? <clears throat> Gina Meadows. And Gina, introduce me to your sons. This is Parker, and this is Lucas. Can you say hi, Lucas? <laughs> hi. This is Jay Lehman, the founder and the past president, and Glenda and Galen's dad. Um, and we started in the stove room because it's kind of where it all began. Right, Jay? All right, right that's behind us is kind of a stove that's right. used as an example of. Uh, this is a nice old stove, the kind of stove we used to sell years ago. You had mentioned how um, your business really began to boom when there was the, in the 70s, there was an energy shortage. Yeah, that's and all right. of a sudden, the stoves became very popular, became one of your best selling items. That's right. At that time, we were about the only one around selling stoves anymore, primarily the Amish. Here we are sitting in this beautiful theater. Nobody's here right now, but it will be full soon. Mm -hmm. And this is Bill Jones, and this is his dream. Made reality. Hello, Bill. Hi, Judy. Bill's our expert on uh, Johnny Appleseed. He's a historian, and um, he thought of this beautiful theater as a great way to show the public what a wonderful person Johnny Appleseed was. And if you want to know about Johnny Appleseed, he's the guy that can tell you all about him. So, Bill, how did this all begin? Where did you start, you know, having this relationship with Johnny Appleseed? Well, I don't recall exactly when I was first introduced to.